Thank you. And uh, just for your information, Skip and myself have been vegetarian and vegan for many, many years. I, I, I was in, um, I've been vegetarian for 27 years, vegan for about 10 years. Skip has been uh, vegetarian for 30 years. Is this all? I've been, uh, my God, I haven't eaten meat now. It must be for about 15 years now. 15 years, okay, 15 yeah. years. So a lot of people now is like, they wanted to boost their immune system. They want to uh, restore their health. Can you share with us what is the difference between, between live food and the dead food? Well, dead food is food that has no life in it. So first of all, we'll start off with processed food. Foods that have been processed in a factory uh, when you put it inside the body, the body doesn't recognize it. it it's it's man-made and we don't want to eat man-made food. We want to eat foods that have had the energy of the sun, foods that have had the energy of the planet, foods that have had to weather different seasons. And just in life, we have to weather different seasons. So we want to make sure that when we have our plate of food, we have different colors on that plate, just like the rainbow. You know, when we start to reconnect with life and, and as all the ancients used to say, and, and these ancient civilizations that were way advanced for their times where they were predicting stuff back then without the technology that we have and science today still can't understand how they were able to predict these things like literally thousands of years ago. And I truly believe it's because we've lost the connection with life because we started to eat dead stuff. Now, part of that is eating animal products. There is no doubt, you know, some of the biggest myths out there where People say, hang, hang on, hang on a minute, Skip, what are you talking about? But, you know, I, I love my milk. You know, my coffee in the mornings or my tea, I love to have milk in it. And, you know, I, I got brainwashed, you know, milk is good for my bones, you know, it's good calcium. Well, it's now proven scientifically, scientifically, that people that have dairy have the weakest bones on the planet. So a lot Brilliant. of us are born into a world that wasn't truthful. It was, we've been born into worlds where certain things have been put into place uh, where it was just around organizations earning money because we went through the industrial age. And, and, and I'd like to take people on a quick journey now just through where life has gone so they can understand where they have the choice or the chance to go to. So we went through the dark ages, we went through the industrial age where the industrial age, it changed life on the planet. But some of the industries that got formed what we didn't know at the time was it was ripping life away from the planet. And, and there are smarter ways that we can use energy. There are smarter ways that we can use fuel in today's world. And, and then we went through the industrial age and then we went to the information age and people started to get hooked on information and they want to learn this and learn that and learn this, which is great. But information alone is not going to give us a transformation. The only way we're going to get a transformation is through an activation. Then we're going through what we call the entertainment phase now, where everybody wants to be entertained instantly. They're going swipe, 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 swipe. And they want instant gratification. They want these instant dopamine hits to be, to be fired off. But when, there's, uh, when you're only looking for something instant, you're not investing in yourself now for a better tomorrow. So what we're now going through now is what we call the golden age. And this is the age of awakening. This is where we can get more people truly, truly awake on the planet. And when I say truly awake, I mean in alignment with universal intelligence. I mean in alignment with our planet, in alignment with the body, the mind, and the spirit, which is how we get to experience life, in alignment in our relationships, in alignment in our families. When we can start to create this type of life, not only are we going to get to wake up every single day loving the life that we live, but when we get challenged and we're all going to get challenged, I'm not saying that you're going to live a life without challenges because sometimes we need the challenges to help us grow and expand and for us to be able to refocus. When we get challenged, we're going to get used to bouncing back faster and faster and faster. And every time we bounce back, we bounce back stronger. We bounce back more intelligent. We bounce back wiser. We bounce back with more love with more joy with more fun we bounce back with all the good qualities that we should be experiencing on a daily basis not the mental torment that people are going through because again the latest studies on when it comes to the mind tracy there and this is joe dispenser who is a great guy and he says that 90 percent 
of people's thoughts in today's world are negative. 90%, this has got nothing to do with whether you're rich or poor, whether you're old or young, whether you're black or white. This is what's going on around our world. Now, the challenge with that is if we don't start putting the right things in our mind and we don't take control of our mind because we want our mind performing at high levels, then what happens is 80 to 90% of the thoughts that we had yesterday come up again today and then tomorrow. And it's 60,000 thoughts a day. 60,000 thoughts a day. Majority of them is repeated and negative. 90% of our thoughts are. 90% of the 60,000 thoughts are negative and they repeat again and again and again and again. They have been working behind your back all the time. Yeah, it's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. So we have to take control of our mind. And, and this is why I wanted to give away the, the, the High Performance Mind Masterclass series because in the past, you know, we've charged people thousands for this in the past. And through this whole coronavirus phase, I just said to the team, look, I want to start giving stuff away. People need, because the truth is, you know, we have enough, you know, I've got properties in different countries now and I get to travel around the world. When we wake up, Tracy, like yourself, all we want to do now is go out there and serve as many people as we can to be able to get to as many people this truth, because in this truth, this is how we start to raise consciousness on the planet. And at the same time, Creating financial freedom is part of that journey. You know, we want to be in that position where we have taken back control of our lives and we can decide what we want. So, yeah, that's why I'm, I'm gifting this to all the people that are watching this. They are. They're going to have this as a gift. Oh, OK. Um, uh, Skip have been very generous to give a $10,000 in values gift to us. At the end of the session, uh, we're going to give you a link so that you can able to uh, download the gifts. So maybe later you will talk about, I want you to share with you what are the gifts, maybe on the later part. So you mentioned about every single year, uh, all ourselves will be fully renewed. I fully agree with you because I, I'm, I'm like Skip because um, we gone through a lot, a lot of pain. I know when I was 21, I have a very bad sleep disease. I probably, I felt or whatever. I was hospitalized for two months for attraction. Then uh, doctor said, you have to go for operation. So I very reluctant to go for operation, but the doctor insists that I should go for operation. In front, my friend is stand by for the blood for me. So it was about uh, five days before my 21st uh, birthday. I begged the doctor, begged the doctor, please let me get out and celebrate my birthday. Then I come back again for the operation. I never return. I never go back. And um, good, good. you can see that I can do whatever. In fact, after that, I become the, uh, the I, I form a netball team and I, my netball team become the champion, the stick champion, the stick champion. I can do whatever, I can climb the mountain, I can play tennis, badminton or whatever. So is it possible? And, and I also suffer a very bad uh, migraine problem when I was in England in uh, 90s. It was so bad. It's like somebody like punching into your eyeball. It was so bad. The two years, because in England, people take a lot of milk. I drink milk like drink water. I hardly drink water because in England, everybody buy these uh, two liters or five liters of milk. It's like early morning, like drink like water. And I, I, my office, be, below my office is Mark and Spencer. And then they, they make very nice sandwiches. So I, every day I eat bread, I eat bread, I eat bread. I didn't, I, and uh, I get free medical consultation. And uh, I used to see doctors, what causes my migraine, what causes my heartburn, my palpitation. I visited five doctors. I even go for my ECG. None of them can tell me anything, what's wrong with me. So I said, don't waste my time. I went to the library and do research myself. What are the things I cannot eat? And I realized that I was infected with the uh, fungus infection in my body. And I drink a lot of coffee. I, drink, I eat a lot of chocolate. I eat uh, eggs at that time. I wasn't a vegetarian. And I, I consume more yeast into my body. So the condition get worse and worse. When I came back to Malaysia, gone, gone. 
so everything just go off automatically so um so so with that i don't really trust doctor anymore for the last 20 years i hardly see doctors same same like you uh, uh skip you don't see doctors i only visit doctors to do my medical checkup uh every single year because i forced by aaron to go with him so other than that i don't even go <laughs> Well, we have because, to look at this as well, Tracy. That you know, w w when we come to doctors, I, I I don't want to put doctors down because I truly believe that doctors want to help people, but doctors don't study health. It's like you know, you create a company called Wealth Mentors, and you're not going to go and study poor people to learn how to get rich. They don't study health. What they study is disease. Yeah. So this is what we've got to understand, and and you know, for me, this is why we have to give the disclaimer at the beginning because. I'm, I'm glad I'm not a doctor because the third leading cause of death on planet earth now, and again, this is not skip saying this, this is just the facts. The third leading cause of, of, of death on planet earth is the correctly prescribed medication. So within these medications, we now know that there are side effects and these side effects are harming people. And a lot of the side effects now that they have to write these on the labels. And if anybody is on medication, please go and read where it says side effects read what it says because now what you're seeing written in there is death so this is what i want people to understand that people started to die from these prescription drugs so the trend so when i say adapt or die what the pharmaceuticals are doing is they're adapting as well so they've been they, they, they've gone from um getting doctors to give you drugs for certain conditions that they know are going to have side effects and i'm not saying that there is no place for drugs but what i'm saying is that they have been abused like crazy certain drugs in a certain time period can really really help people but at no point does a doctor say well let's have a look at your life how much are you moving your body what are you putting into your body what's your mental state being like you know, how much life do you have breathing through you? These questions never get asked. So they're not interested in your life, in why you got the disease, why you got the symptom, why you got the illness. They're just there to give you a drug, now, which they call medicine. Now, the, the pharmaceutical industry has now shifted. And this is what a lot of people don't know. It's, it's shifted. They've shifted their focus because even though they make so much money, they're not making as much money as what they were when they used mm -hmm. to sell the drugs. So guess yeah. where their focus is now going? To the vaccines. Yeah. This is where their focus is now. And the reason why their focus is going to the vaccines is because they've had these vaccines. When they get a vaccine, for if they can create enough fear and enough scare in the world and they can get the governments buying into this and they can be the ones with all their studies, with all their literature and to say that, right, we've now got the vaccine everybody now has to get this vaccine all of a sudden they now cannot be sued even if people die on the vaccine this is crazy and i'm not saying whether the vaccines are good or bad but what i am saying is that we need to know what's in the vaccines and what's in these vaccines is nowhere near as powerful as our own defenses when we learn how to give the body the mind and the spirit what it needs we are the antidote we are the solution but not if we're living a toxic lifestyle yeah i uh, skip you have this uh, popular program called now n o w now uh the now stand for means uh n stand for nutrition o stand for oxygen w stand for water i want you to focus about oxygen oxygen is very vital to our body and um well, be before, um, I want you to share with us uh, 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 you, I want you to share with us uh, uh, actions or activities that you can help us to boost the immune system immediately. So, really? yeah, what, yeah. Right now? Yeah, late, later. Before that, I want you to talk about how important is oxygen first. So oxygen is like... On my events, uh, there are events I run now where we start at five, uh, sorry, seven thirty in the morning with the group, and we go till the earliest we finish is like ten o'clock at night. Sometimes we go to one thirty in the morning, and we're not eating any food for five days straight. We're not even juicing. We're having 
no, nothing is coming in as far as food goes. Now, how would we be able to do that? Because the truth is we can actually go months without food. We can only go days without water. We go minutes without oxygen, liver cells shut down, brain cells shut down. Basically the whole body starts to shut down. So oxygen is actually our most valued nutrient. Now let's make things a little bit, because what I like to do is I like to take real complex subjects and make them real simple so anybody can understand. So what's going on around the planet is we've been cutting down the rainforests to put animals there so that we, you know, there's meat farming. Now these trees allow us to breathe. Now it allows oxygen to be released so that humans can breathe. And if we carry on chopping down the trees, we're chopping down our, our life source. Now within the human body, when we stress, one of the first things that happens to most people is they stop breathing down here. We should breathe and go. <sighs> it's like filling up a glass from the bottom going up. But the challenge is most people are only breathing up here. And when we stress, instead of having deep diaphragmic breaths, we start having these short shallow breaths up here. Now what that then means is that we're not activating ourselves through breathing naturally. Look at any baby, when it's born, it breathes deep into its belly. And if you hear a baby scream, oh my God, they can scream all day long and they never lose their voice because the, it, the, the, the noise is coming from down here. Now, when we stress and we do these short, shallow breaths, what happens is it trains the body to breathe in a way that isn't natural. And what we now know is that most people are only using about 20% of their lung capacity. And you've heard the saying, use it or lose it. So if we don't use our lungs correctly, guess what? They're going to shut down. Guess what? The number one cancer that's killing people all around the world is that no one's even talking about lung cancer. Yeah. People are dying of this. Now, where does the, uh, this virus, this, this COVID-19, the, the coronavirus, where does it get people? Their respiratory, their lungs, because it affects oxygen. So the first thing that we need to be doing, and anyone can do this anywhere, is we've got to get oxygen in the body. Now, there might be something that say, well, I can't get up at the moment. I'm in, I'm in a situation like with my mum. When I really started to work on my mum, and, and she was someone who was very large, on the verge of getting diabetes. She was in and out of hospital with many operations, and she couldn't walk from one side of the room to the other without being in serious pain. So the first thing I started doing with it was like, mum, let's breathe. And we would start doing some of these breathing exercises. And actually, in the free gifts, I have got some breathing on there, a breathing exercise, because we put a three-part mini-series um, anti-coronavirus in there as well to give people some of these activations. So it's not going to be information coming in. There's going to be a process that I will take you through. And it, starts to it just starts to get the body back in balance. So anyone anywhere can do these breathing exercises and even when we're allowed back out again you can do it when you're traveling to work you can do it when you're sat on a bus or you can do it at your desk you can do it at home you can do it in front of the tv you can do it anywhere so yeah i mean we can go through a breathing exercise because i want people yeah. to understand what can start to happen when we start to get the body back in balance so should we do it now yeah before you uh, do the breathing exercise i i have some tips a very good tips, a very easy thing to do. Awesome. And uh, this is miracles. And uh, everybody can put up your hand. Put your hand like that. Where is your breathing? Are you asking me? Mine's in my belly. Yeah, yeah, your belly. I, I can tell you majority of the people will be chest. Right. When you turn around, you turn around. Where is your breathing now? Oh, it seems to go down deeper. Yes, immediately. So oh, like in order it. to get a very good breathing 24 hours, especially when you sleep, put your hand, put your hand on top. Then you have good breathing, good oxygen throughout the night when you sleep. And further, when you want to do your exercise, what you need to do, can you do your hand like this? You, you even breathe deeper. The, the breathing even deeper down into the tummy. This you is feel beautiful. That? This is beautiful. Yeah, this is a very simple exercise. You, you can do it 24 hours. 
and when I was in Jujaiko, is in the uh, the uh, very high altitude, three thousand lower. After a short walk, I, I feel breathless. When I do like that, it helps a lot. It helps a lot yeah. to yeah. to allow myself to to get the oxygen to my bloodstream. This is a very simple exercise. And uh, while you are stressful, when people you are stressful, you are angry, you are depressed. Normally, you are very shallow breathing. When you shallow breathing, you are more panic. You get panic when you are lack of oxygen. So it's very calming to uh, just do like that. This is called polarity. You can also like this. You can also like this. And uh, one of the another good way is like um, this is just a side check a little bit when uh, we have left brain or right brain. So with these two brains, some of them are streamed from the other side. In order to balance the left and right. We can also do something like that when you are free. This is cross it so that your it helps to balance. And also, you know, you want to punish your child for naughty. The best thing is for them to pull your pull 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 the ear and then squat down and up. It's the best exercise to develop the left brain and right brain. Love it! I love it. Creating balance. Yeah. I love it. It's these, these are golden. These are great. Yeah, so when you do jogging, it's good to put your hand like that, you jog, then you have more energy. You won't get tired so easily. When you sleep, put your hand like that. Don't put your hand like this. You can see the difference immediately. You can, see the, you can see the difference. Do you, do you see the difference? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. you can feel it so, straight away. So how long is your, is your, is your sessions? You are going to help sessions? us to boost the immune system? What, right now? We can do yeah. it. it, it three minutes. How, how long? Three minutes. Okay. Can, can yeah. we do it now? Yeah, let's do it. So all we're going to do now is, because the body doesn't care how we get the oxygen in, so follow me. So we're going to inhale and exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Everyone do this. Inhale. Exhale. Keep the rhythm going. Inhale. Breathing even deeper and exhale. Some people are gonna to start to feel something immediately. Inhale, exhale. Good, keep going, inhale, exhale. Three more, inhale, exhale. Two more, inhale, exhale. Last one, inhale. This time when we exhale, keep the air out. Exhale, keep it out, keep it out, hold it, hold it out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hold it for 20, keep it. If you need to breathe, obviously breathe, but if you can keep it out, keep it out. Okay, good, now inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, good. Now inhale some love, exhale some peace, mm. good. Inhale some love, exhale some peace. Now this time, inhale some peace and exhale love to people that you know. Good, three more, inhale some love from the universe. Exhale some love to those people that you wanna connect with, good. Inhale love, exhale, good. One more, inhale love into your own body now. Exhale, push it all out and hold it, hold it, push it out. Two, hold it for 20, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. We're gonna go for 25. One, two, three, four, five. Good, inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale, now start relaxing as we breathe in. Shoulders are relaxed, inhale. Exhale. Good, inhale. Exhale, good, inhale, 
exhale and we're inhaling life as we breathe it into our body and exhale good breathing deep into the belly inhale exhale good just keep going inhale exhale really good everybody keep going and exhale good three more inhale exhale some people might be going a little bit muzzy up here it's good keep going inhale and exhale good keep going two more inhale exhale good one more deep breath in exhale push all the air out push it 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 out good now one we're going to go for 30. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. Good, breathe in. And now just exhale, close your eyes, but this exhale again, take another deep breath into the body. And now close our eyes and just feel your heart beating. Feel that that thing that is beating, that heart, it is universal intelligence, supreme intelligence making that heart beat. Feel it beating. There's blood being circulating around your whole body, delivering oxygen, nutrients, and water to every cell in your body. Feel into the miracle that you are knowing that you've got miracles yet to be born through you into life. And good, just take a nice breath in, slowly open your eyes. And well done, everybody. Give yourselves a round of applause. Yeah. Good. Thank you.